Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisarga Kadam. In our last video where I have told about AI Fabric and how to use a sentiment analysis. So in that video, I have got a lot of comments that we are facing an issue where when clicked on AI Fabric, the issue is displayed. Now, as I can show you, when I'm navigating to AI Fabric, I can see there are two projects, right? However, for a couple of people who are using community edition, they won't be able to see that. So let me tell you, I'm using a enterprise trial edition. Now, how you guys, how you can go ahead and opt in for enterprise trial edition. So I will solve your issue with this. So first of all, if you navigate to admin, now, as you can see, uh, if I go to licenses, my trial, my version is enterprise trial. Now let's navigate to a cloud portal of UiPath where I don't have enterprise style edition and I can replicate the same issue which you are facing right now. So I'm going ahead, I'm going to uh, log in with this orchestrator, which is Mr. Kadam 23. Now once I'm logged in, <clears throat> as you can see, if I navigate to AI Fabric, I'm facing an issue which says AI Fabric is not enabled for tenant Mr. Kadam 23. And this requires AI automation cloud for enterprise. Now, how do we enable this? So let's go back to home page. Let's navigate to admin. As you can see, I'm in an admin page. Now in admin, if I navigate to licenses, I can see my edition is community plan. So that means I'm using community edition license and which has a, uh, which doesn't have any uh, you know, expiration date. But if I can opt in for enterprise trial, so you have to navigate here, the license, request enterprise trial. So let me tell you again, once you navigate back to your automation cloud, which is going to be this one. So once you navigate to this portal, you have admin, click on admin, click on licenses, and then click on request enterprise trial. Give your first name, last name. Now I can give my Nisar Kadam, Nisar Kadam 23 and company name. I'm giving this company name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say request. Once I say request, your enterprise trial request has been successfully submitted. Please note that it may take up to for one hour for the change to be reflected. Now it will take some time to reflect. Definitely you just refresh. As you can see, it became enterprise trial edition where the expiry date is now September 24, 2020, which is exactly two months from now. Now let's go ahead and navigate AI fabric and go to homepage. Let me refresh, but even if you go ahead and enable license, which is of enterprise trial, you can see I have five attended robots now, five non production testing and five unattended robots. Also, I have other services where I have two AI robots, which is what we need for AI fabric to be used. Let's navigate to home, sorry, admin, and let's navigate to services. In services, we have to edit the existing service. Now let's go ahead and say edit. If you can see edit, there is edit services. Now I can increase the number of robots available. I am giving it five robots, five unattended robots. I am utilizing all the robots which I am getting from this enterprise edition. I'm getting three studio, so I'll just give it three. All five studio X and studio pro. Let's go to other services and you have to enable AI fabric. Once you enable AI fabric, just increase the number of robots of AI runtime robots, give it to. Now you don't get GPU when you're using enterprise trial edition, but in real enterprise edition, you can request for a GPU. GPU is nothing but which is going to increase the speed of uh, you know, runtime machine learning usability or while testing or retraining the model of machine learning. Now I'm going to save it and my current service is getting updated. As you can see, the status is updating here. Right, so I can just go ahead and refresh and that's done. Let's navigate in the meantime to orchestrator service. And the orchestrator service, as you can see, there are no robots available currently. So let's first of all, go ahead and let's establish a connection between our robots. So I'm just going to disable this one. So I was connected to earlier robot. I'm going to disable that. And now I'm going to connect my new robot. 
with this. So let's go ahead, let's say machine. I already have a machine which is desktop. I already have, I don't have a robot, so let's, I want to change the machine name. This time what is going to be my machine name is this one. Desktop this, and this is already there. I need to create a robot. So I'm just going ahead saying standard robot. Machine name is this. Name is nature bot. Description is not needed. Type I want unattended robot to be used. Domain name is this one and password I'm not entering. So just create. And that's done. Let's go ahead in the environment, create environment, which is a sample environment such as, uh, this is my ultra book. So I'll say ultra book and I'll say create. In the ultra book, I will select a nature board. I will update it and that's there. So let's navigate back to robots. The robot is still disconnected. Now we have to connect it. So let's go to machines. Let's copy the machine code, which is machine ID. Copy it here and then copy the orchestrator instance. So I have to copy it from here. Let's copy it from here and copy. Let's go back to orchestrator URL, paste it here. Connect, hit connect. Let's see. And that's perfect. I'm connected and licensed. Now let's navigate back to robots. I can check that my robot is online. So I have connected an attended robot, right? Let's go back to automation cloud. Let's navigate to AI fabric. And as you can see, apply AI to your RPA workflow in minutes. So AI fabric is enabled. Now I can go ahead, I can create a project. Let's create a new project called as a uh, sentiment analysis. Just checking, give some description, create. And as you can see, we have enabled AI fabric. We can go ahead and select out of the box package, upload a zip folder, and our first project has been created. So thank you so much for watching. If you face any issue, what you have to do is, uh, I will let's navigate to orchestrator first. Let me just pause for one second. Now I'm navigating to orchestrator. If you're facing any issue where a tenant could not be reached to AI fabric, even after enabling, uh, your enterprise edition, what you have to do is navigate here to users, roles, robots, edit, and you have to just add ML skill package, ML packages, and ML logs. You have to enable all of them and all the roles, actions, and then just update. And that should enable your AI fabric. So that's all about it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Happy automation.